Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a certain X-linked dominant disease in humans occurs when there are more than 40 repeats of CGG trinucleotide in particular gene. The unique sequence outside the repeat region is as follows. So here's one unique sequence, here's another unique sequence. And in between we have a region that can be of the variable size in different people. If it's going to exceed 40 repeats, that means that this person would have this genetic disorder. And in order to find the length of this repeat, we have to design primers, we have to run PCR and then gel electrophoresis in order to find the length of this fragment. In the lab freezer, you find five primers of the different sequences listed below. If you want to use PCR to amplify the trinucleotide repeat region, which of these primers would you use? So here's our choices. After my explanation, you should be able to solve this type of problems in a fraction of second, because the answer is given here. Imagine that we run a PCR and we raise our temperature over 90 degrees of Celsius and double-stranded DNA separates. Now we need not just to make a copy of each strand, but we need to build a complementary strand to this one and to this one. Basically the only rule you have to know in order to solve this problem is that DNA synthesis always grow and build new strand from 5 prime end to 3 prime end direction. That means, for example, if we consider the strand of the DNA, we cannot use this end because complementary strand here would start with 3 prime end and would go in the 5 prime end direction. So this is going to be a place where our first primer, which we call forward primer, would go. And it's going to start with 5 prime and go in the 3 prime direction. But if you take a look, this is going to be exactly this sequence here. Let's make a copy of it. And as I said, we actually have an answer in our question. Because this strand of the DNA is complementary to this strand of the DNA, the primer sequence is going to be absolutely the same as this sequence. So this is going to be our forward primer and extension is going to be in this direction. And what primer have to be in order to make a complementary strand for this strand of the DNA? As you remember, DNA polymerase only can extend primer from 5 prime end to 3 prime end direction. That means that here the sequence is going to be the same sequence as the sequence of the primer because it's going to be complementary to the top strand. So this is going to be exact sequence of the primer we are looking for in order to extend this primer in this direction and make a complementary strand for this strand of the DNA. So we call this reverse primer. Now we just have to find the correct answer here, but here's a hint. We always list our primers, for example, when we order primers from 5 prime end to 3 prime end, even if it is reverse primer, we never say that this is going to be uh, 3 prime end to 5 prime end following sequence. We still have to uh, list it from 5 prime end to 3 prime end. Now let's find forward primer. And the sequence is 5 prime end CAG. Let's check 5 prime end CAG. Only number 4 meets our requirements of the forward primer and have the correct sequence. Now let's find our reverse primer 5 prime end ATT, 5 prime end ATT. So only one number 2 meets our requirements. So this is going to be our reverse primer, so we have forward primer, reverse primer in order to run this PCR reaction and to amplify this sequence in the middle. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.